Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and welcome to the Daily Drosh. Today's Daily Drosh is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 5, verse 20. And uh, this can be often a confusing commandment or confusing verse uh, for some people because it's like, okay, what is this commandment really saying? What, what is it really getting at? It says, you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. So basically, it's one of two things. Most commonly and most readily, people will say, oh, well, that is do not bear false witness. In other words, do not lie to your neighbor, especially in a courtroom situation. So basically, you can sum up the commandment as a prohibition against lying. Uh, yeah, and that's true. But I think there's another aspect that's often left out and often missed. You shall not bear false witness against your neighbor. In other words, you're not to lie to your neighbor. But you are also not to lie about your neighbor. So it's talking more, more than lying. It's talking also about slander, about gossip, about character assassination. If you bear false witness against your neighbor, you're claiming, you know, your neighbor is a low down, dirty, sneaky creep when actually he's a really good, upstanding guy. You're trying to assassinate his character. You're trying to uh, shed a an unfavorable light upon him to sway the opinion of other people regarding this person. So you shall not bear false witness against your neighbor is, yes, talking about lying uh, in a court situation and lying in everyday life. Don't lie to other people. Honesty is the best policy, as the saying goes. But it also is talking about slander, putting down and uh, uh, assassinating the character of the people around you, of your neighbor bearing false witness. In other words, what you're saying about them is not true. It's a lie. It's gossip. It's slander. So uh, hopefully this is a good clarification and um, a good exposition for some of you on this particular commandment that's often kind of confused and misunderstood. So guys, uh, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and apply this first to your heart and life today. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and Shavuot Tov. Hey, shalom everyone. This is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and I am the founder of AbrahamsDescendants.com. I'm excited to announce the publishing of three Torah commentaries just in time for the new Torah reading cycle. And these Torah commentaries have the Torah, Half Torah, and Brit Chadesha portion commentaries included. They are Rabash's Torah Thoughts Volume 1, which include Genesis through Exodus. Ray Bash's Torah Thoughts Volume 2, which includes Leviticus through Deuteronomy. And we have a special Torah commentary just for kids called Ray Bash's Torah Thoughts for Kids. To order yours, just go to abrahamsdescendants.com under the media tab and go to the sub-tab books and it'll take you right to the storefront where you can order your very own. Thanks. Shalom.